again, sorry for any background noise, both of my boys are home right now, but I wanted to do a quick unboxing video once again. Uh, I apparently went on a planner, planner buying spree lately, but I wanted to go ahead and do an unboxing video for this just because you don't see many videos for this model. This is a Filofax Swift in Sage, and so I wanted to do a, just a walkthrough of my first impressions. I'm buying it used. I'm buying it from someone that, uh, someone that had it for sale on one of the Facebook groups. Um, so it's not new, but I wanted to show the different features just in case uh, it had been one I've been in search of for a while. So in case you're interested in adding it to your in search of list. So let's open it up. This is such a cute planner. So here it is. It is personal size. Let's zoom out a little bit. And there are a couple of little marks that I have been told about. Um, but overall, it seems to be in great condition. It's got the embossed file effects there. It's a canvas um, material. It's not leather. It's canvas. I think the inside is some sort of a vinyl or plastic. Uh, but it's got cute little bird cage, bird in a bird cage details. And it has an elastic fastener and the button. You can see from the side how it's attached there. It has a little bird on it. So let's open it up. Oh, sweet. She sent some. Uh, some, what are those called? Masking stickers, there we go. That's the word I was looking for. Some cute heart masking stickers. I love this little detail down here. The little embossed bird cage, and says Filofax Swift. So on this side it has just a half pocket and some business card holder pockets. It's got a full length one there. It does have a stiffener in here since it's the canvas and not leather. So it's not, there's not a lot of room. It's not a lot of give to this. It's pretty, pretty strict. The rings look to be in great condition, as they were advertised as being. Came with A to Z tabs. That's nice. I was not expecting those. I saw there were some sort of inserts, but I didn't know what they were. So that's a nice bonus. In the back here, it has just a top pocket, a slip pocket. It's got a stain there that hadn't been advertised, but that's easily covered up. Um, doesn't have a, any other pockets back there, so it's not very pocket heavy, but it's just so cute. So this notepad slides right in the back there. It's nice that it's already it's punched on there. I hadn't seen those before. And it has an elastic pin loop, so that covers up the stain, which is nice. I kind of wish that I'd been told about that. Not that I foresee selling this, but I would have to disclose it if I ever did sell it. So there we go. The back, as you saw originally, the same design as the front. This is how this is attached. So a cute little planner. I'm planning on using this as an, since it makes me smile, as using it as an inspiration and creativity file of facts. So I've printed, I've been printing out some poetry and quotes and scripture, and I'm going to use it for creative writing and uh, also goal keeping. So when I do goals for the next year, I'm going to put them all in here. So look for a setup video. I've already been making dividers and printing things out. So I hope to have a setup video uh, up here in the next week or so. So thank you for watching. I hope that this has been a good look for you at the Swift. Thanks. Bye.